Okay, folks, here's a BRO quick tip. I have lost count with the guys that uh, say, Wade, why do my buckshot pellets not look like yours? Why do they keep coming out looking dusty? And stuff like that. Well, there's a couple of reasons that could be happening. The biggest problem is uh, not having enough pellets in the drone. Got some 30 cal number ones here. This is a Harbor Freight tub. You got to get a pretty good judge of about, we are at about three quarter full here, which in my opinion is best. Half, sometimes you can get by with it if everything is bone dry with a half a tub. Less than half a tub, you stand a pretty darn good chance of it coming out looking dusty with rubber dust and all that getting all over your pellets. Okay, and a study of pellets coming out looking shiny like this, they come out looking like this. These are these are just 70 cal ball pure lead that I save for nothing but this. I use these to put in with my buckshot pellets, especially if I've got a half a tub or less. Even with three quarters of a tub, I'll, uh, I'll grab several of these, maybe just a half a dozen or so of these big 70 cal ball and put them in here. That just helps with the polishing. Just beans them harder. And, uh, and I'll put them in there for 12 hours. And you see what it looks like as a before. Marty's Arms and Sharpshooter. That's the two number one molds that I have in 30 cal. About half and half. All right, we're going to drop them in for 12 hours. I've already put the blow dryer to these until they were almost too hot for me to touch. And uh, so I know they dry. I blow dry out the tub. See how shiny this tub is, guys? There is no dust in this tub at all. At all. When your tubs look shiny like that, that's good. If you're ever putting graphite in it and then trying to clean it out later and just wanting your, um, your pellets to look nice and shiny, that can also cause a problem. Just a pinch of graphite can seems to be able to treat 5 million pellets. Be back in 12 plus hours. Let's check them. All righty, fellas. It's been 12 hours. Probably a little over 12 plus hours on these 30 cal number ones. And... Let's see what we got. They should look like magnetite. And they do. You just get a little bit of, get that air in there. Break the seal, break it out. And of course, that is 100% of the time now, fellas. If you do everything, you do it all right, and this will be your result every time. Okay, see, we got probably a little better than three quarters right here. That is best. A half, you're almost rolling the dice. I have found three quarters or just above a three quarter tub is going to give you these kind of results 100% of the time. If the tub is dry, the pellets are dry, this will be your result every time right here. And I did throw a half a dozen of these big old 70 cal ball in there with the number ones to really hammer on them good. Do you need to powder coat them? No, I have found this, all that hammering, see how everything is smoothed out, see how it's real, real shiny. All that hammering has compressed the jacket, a micro jacket on these pellets. Um, and it's already made the surface of these pellets really, really hard just from the hammering process. And so, do you have to powder coat them? No. Does powder coating help them, in my opinion? Yes. These, like this, if they've already been tumbled, it will, they perform identical or slightly better. The, the cool thing about the powder coated pellets is that uh, when folks take an animal, you can take the colored pellets out of it, and it's uh, just really cool. I have heard from local processors that uh, watch my videos that know that somebody was shooting 
some of the uh, the uh, my buddy BRO buddies over there at the club shot the deer because of the uh, powder coated buckshot. Well, folks, hope y'all enjoyed this BRO quick tip. The pellets will come out just like that, nice and shiny, every time if you just follow those quick steps, in my personal opinion. Make sure that you've got at least more than a half of, uh, of pellets in your tub. Between three quarters and a little better than three quarters is what I find to be best or to give me my best performance in the tumbler. We'll see y'all on the next one.